successfully applied and now today they are sworn in either as CC or as uh, members of the County Public Service Board or the chairman or whatever position now you have been appointed to. So I congratulate you all. Uh, you are joining a team of very hardworking people in this county. I really appreciate the civil servants in this county. They have really, really uh, assisted me to perform very well uh, for the first time uh, we have now reached all-time high all-time high in terms of our revenue collection 161 million is what we collected last financial year for the first time in the history of Isiolo County and even Isiolo County Council it has never been achieved that way so we are, uh, you are therefore joining a team uh, you have seen what is going on in this town. You are going. You are seeing. Maybe if you come from the rural communities, you see what we are doing. Uh, the abattoir will soon now be running because the World Bank is uh, coming. Actually, very soon. Yeah, we have already at a very advanced stage. We won through competitive. Uh, the market which uh, we are building will contribute to the economic activity of this county. The stadium we are building will contribute to the uh, nurturing the talents of our young people who are a major number in terms of percentage in the number of people in this county. 
they are actually also a very special team because there's a lot of frustration and a lot of uh, hopelessness in them. We want to nurture their talent, so that's why we are investing in this stadium, which will be FIFA <coughs> standard. Uh, the roads, you can see, are really uh, happening, uh, both from our side and from the national government we are partnering. Uh, so uh, the audit uh, team were here uh, last, uh, the first time they came, they gave us qualified. That is the first time in the history of Isiolo County uh, since the evolution started that we got uh, qualified uh, opinion from the Auditor General. This year we are still working very hard and they have just finished uh, auditing us. We hope even to improve better than that. Even if maybe we will not go to above qualified, we may get the same qualified but with less questions because we have learned from the first round what our shortcomings are and we are continuing to improve so that we do better every year. The Kenya Devolution Support Program, uh, we were rated, you know, when we came, the previous government, uh, it was 27%. Or now, our first year was 72%. This year, we hope to score 95%. It's not me, it is this team of civil servants who are really doing. Uh, we, because of all these indicators, donors are now focusing is solo. And uh, you have seen the American ambassador was here. Immediately after that, USAID has been coming. Even yesterday, a USAID team was here to partner with us in various aspects, whether it is in uh, food and nutrition, whether it is in education. They are going actually to sponsor the education forum, which is happening on 23rd. USAID is going to sponsor. So they have uh, come all, and they are partnering with us. On uh, uh, 17th, Four ambassadors are coming. The ambassador of Norway, the ambassador of uh, Denmark, the ambassador of uh, Finland, and the ambassador of uh, Switzerland. Four ambassadors are coming, and they all now are focusing in Solo because they are also monitoring which county can they invest. And they want to invest in the county that they see that with their investment will bear fruits because people are serious and people want to deliver. So therefore, uh, I want to welcome you. We are a serious team. There's a lot of politics. We are not listening to that. We want to focus. I want, I want to deliver for Isolo people. That is my target this time. And uh, we were in New York to actually uh, advance the, the effort of UHC together with the president. And uh, we got 500 million for Isolo County to improve the health centers out there. So. We are determined to continue working for our people. Always there will be Maneno <coughs> politics, but let's, we just want to close our ears and just focus on the target. If you look left or right, you will waste your time. So you will not hear me answering anybody. You will not hear me talking. You will just see me working and you are allowed and you are most welcome to join this working team so that we deliver for his fellow people. Again. Thank you very much and uh, welcome to work with us. I'm ready and available for you to be given advice by yourselves. Also to give you advice of what should be done. We have been working very well with the CCs. Uh, you are joining a team of very hardworking team. There is uh, uh, a guy here who is in charge of uh, education, sports, culture and uh, social, social service. service. There is uh, Haji. Uh, David here, who is in charge of water environment and now also acting as uh, lands and uh, uh, public uh, urban and public works, a lot of a lot of. But that we did 27 meetings in two years, 27 cabinet meetings. This is because unless you meet and you make decisions for your community and for your county, then there's no progress. So we are having our regular meetings. We must have a minimum of two cabinet meetings every year. So you are most welcome. You are supposed to be preparing your, 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 your department and uh, uh, bringing new ideas for your department so that we are also able to support your programs. And therefore, you are most welcome. And uh, I think we are on the right track. We will continue improving. I don't mean we, there's no room for improvement. There's a lot of room for improvement. And we will continue improving such that at the end of our term, we are able to show what, uh, how we have used our time, which our people gave us, uh, and which God gave us. Thank you very much.
program stitching I do county government office you know as a chairperson of county public service board I will start my duties and responsibilities immediately after this in fact after this minute I will convene the first meeting of the new board county public service board and I will work very hard diligently to promote justice and the fairness in the county public service